body shaming moms. Body shaming period is awful, but body shaming mothers I body shaming sucks. What's up with the pressure? I literally cannot stand when people body shame, especially like mothers who it's really hard. It's just really losing weight is hard in general. But getting your body back, getting your body back, getting your body back. Some people have a great, you know, time getting the body back. Some people don't. Some people are able to work out a lot more than others. Some people don't. Some people, um, some people are struggle with having, losing the weight their whole lives. And then they're made to feel like crap their whole life and that's just not cool I'm just I'm so done with the guilt um I'm gonna do what I can but I'm also going to mean or transforming my mind and not conforming my body to what the world wants that's one of my awesome favorite verses for me is Romans uh 12 2 talks about um <clears throat> Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, which I'm going to transform my mind, which is going to help me transform who I am. And you know, I'm, I'm done with the, the guilt of feeling bad about being overweight and or not the right size or whatever it is. So um, my challenge to you moms is... Um, when you start to feel a certain way about how you look or how you want to look, I challenge you to do two things. I challenge you to say four things that are you uh, that you love or that you um, appreciate about your body, but don't negatively self-talk to yourself. Like, I'm going to do that today myself. I'm going to start incorporating that today, like, in my life. I think we need to work on that. I do know that I'm beautiful. I do know that I'm special. I do know that I have more than more to offer. I do know that my husband loves me no matter what. I do know that um, my I'm more to my I'm more to people than just what I look like. I know that, and I think all of, a lot of us know that. I just really think that a lot of people have struggled with um, what their body looks like, and whether they're a mom or not. Um, women just we get a bad rap there's so much pressure to look a certain way and sometimes that pressure just goes out the window sometimes that pressure builds up and we start to really not recognize the person we see in the mirror anymore because we're we're lost or we're doing so much um tearing down of ourselves that that we don't even recognize who we really are and I just I, I I guess it's it's a it's a sensitive subject for me because I was just talking to my a family member of mine and I said something um to her about how I felt and she was like you know what you gotta stop that and she was so right she was so right I didn't even realize I was doing it and I it came out and she was like that's not you you need to stop that it happens my encouragement is to say three, say four, say four things about yourself that you love right now. If any of them had to do with your body, okay, that's awesome. A lot of times with women, we don't really say anything about our body. We say about what we are like internally, like our minds, our spirit, our you know, characteristics about ourselves that are like, um, we have a good personality, we're able to make friends easily, whatever that is, but we never say anything about our body. And so I challenge you to love something about your body today and continue to add another thing every time. 
and work your way up to just really enveloping yourself with this love, the self-love of you as a woman, as a mother, and taking that with you and letting it shine through. Because honestly, that's where we need to get back to, you know? Um, we need to get back to loving each other, but we also need to get back to loving ourselves and not putting so much pressure on ourselves to look and feel a certain way. I mean, like, those images sometimes you see of these rocking it moms that may be a size certain, whatever size they are, but it's a smaller size than you, and you're like, oh my gosh, I really need to do this. Or summer's coming and that pressure comes and you're like, oh my gosh, I really wanna wear it. I'm not saying don't be healthy. I'm not saying don't work out. I'm not saying, you know, don't do what you need to do to have a healthy um, temple. But I am saying stop shaming yourself. Stop listening to the shaming of a woman's body. Stop perpetuating those messages throughout your life. Let it go. So just be cognizant about it and really, um, really love on yourself today. Love on yourself. Let's end the body shaming. Yes, we're built for this, but don't tear down that temple that you've built. And it's gonna be okay. So, love y'all. See you tomorrow for day nine, I believe. Yeah, day nine. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Now remember, subscribe, like, and share. See you later.